Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And today we are moving on with the second chapter. Of course, in the first episode, we completed the first four levels in the first chapter. Now we're gonna be moving on to the chase to Pyro Puff Peak. I don't know why we're going to Pyro Puff Peak. Doesn't seem very friendly, but Toad looks excited. So let's get started. Uh, so we got level five, Double Cherry Palace. Wow, this place looks pretty cool. I like it. And then we'll have a little he hedge maze in the center. Time for adventure. Oh, whoa, this place is bigger than I thought, too. It totally looks so small. I mean, I guess he usually does, doesn't he? So I can press this button, but oh, if we wanna press both buttons, we're gonna need a little friend. So this is something that was also in Super Mario 3D World, this little cherry power-up. I really gotta play that game for you guys at some point, because I never have. Okay, this is really tricky. Um, Because I'm trying to make sure they both, oh, hey, you get back here. You, what are you, what are you doing? Okay, so we got a getaway turnip. Oh, it's not even a turnip, it's a little. Okay, so if I pick up one of these guys, oh, I gotta be careful, but I gotta be quick as well. Where are you going, where are you going? I'm gonna toss this at you, I think. Oh, he moves so quick though. Oh, that's tough. Because when I pick up one, I throw the other. That's gonna be tough to do. Because we're trying to corner him at the moment. I think I'm supposed to throw something at him. Oh, the camera's not helping me. Got him! Okay, can I pick him up? I can! Okay, I gotcha. Yeah, give me that diamond. Thank you, did I pick it up? I did. That is so interesting. So obviously, there's a couple things I can do here. Um, first off, I can press this button if I was able to separate them far enough, and I wanna do that soon. But I figured, first off, I should try to pull up all these different uh, little uh, plants and see if we can't get anything cool out of that. Probably not anything more than what we already got with it, the little uh, gopher, whatever it was. The mole, it's probably like a Monty Mole kind of thing. Pretty cool. So yeah, what we wanna do is get you over this way, and then yeah, it's a little tricky, but I think we just figured it out. Perfect, okay, so that, I guess, raises that little bridge in the background. Interesting. Huh, this is not gonna be easy to figure out, but I'm trying to get both of them up and over, because now they're separated. So we need to, wait, is that like to their doom? Gotta be careful. Uh, Because I don't want this little toad to fall to his doom. Are they like, Oh no, they're against a wall. Okay, I didn't know if they was just gonna fall over. That would have been scary. Okay, look at this. Okay, this is a little crazy, but I'm trying to make it look, work. Uh, press that button, and then go down there. Okay, oh, you can land on their heads. What do you know? You can just do a simple little stomp. I should have guessed that, but it just didn't seem like it made too much sense. Oh, what's in here? Oh gosh, a diamond, cool. Was that it? It looks like it. So I can press this button for you, you can fall down. Oh, what's going on on this side? This is such a cool palace, I love this. I mean, as a, when I was a young zebra growing up, I loved little dioramas. You know, like when they would make little miniature train areas. Okay, so here you are, you're running around. Where'd you go, where'd you go, where'd you go? Can I just catch up to you and just... Oh, yeah, I could just do that, what do you know? I thought that I had to throw something at him. I'm resorting to violence when I didn't have to. I'm so sorry, Mr. Mole. Oh, okay, land on you. Okay, that guy needed to resort to at least a little violence because they're gonna beat me up. Okay, so this might be a little tough to do, but it's still doable, just like that. Oh, can we reunite? Two toads back together again. We already got all three of the diamonds. So now we're just trying to get more coins and to finish level. Oh, I see, so you can't even continue on over here without two toads, so luckily we have two. Look at these two guys, two peas in a pod. Two exactly identical toads. All right, oh no, we missed some, some some plants over there. I hope that won't count for anything. Course clear, so that's our first level done for the day. But what about our pixel toad and all of our other stuff? We're about to find out. Collect 70 coins. Oh, I didn't quite get that. I got 68 coins. Here's a quick tip. You can zoom in or out while exploring. For details, please take a look at the control information by pressing minus while playing a course. I actually really want that. That would be really useful. So I almost got the 70 coins. I missed those two little plants I noticed at the very end. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I guess. But let's take a look at the uh, controls. Um, Now what I want then? How do I zoom in? Zooming in and out is X. Oh, how helpful. I like it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this. Oh, we can zoom really in too. <laughs> okay, I got it. And let's plop down and get back to this. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I got confused there, but when you pick up the last star, that also gives you uh, 10 coins as well. It's like, oh gosh, how'd I miss 10 coins? I didn't, collected 70, awesome. So now we can go back in one more time and get this pixel toad and see how things go. 
So he could literally be anywhere. This is a pretty complex level when it comes to it. He doesn't even have to be anywhere Toad can reach because we have to only click him with our pointer. So my first goal will be, of course, just to look around and just try to find him, either that be, so I can like zoom in, but I can't really zoom out anymore. Hmm. This is gonna be tricky, that's for sure. I don't really know where he's gonna be, but we're gonna find that pixel toad. Luckily, there's no like timer or anything. I feel like that'd make it much more difficult. But I wanna look on the different sides of the hedges, all that kind of stuff. I think that he can't be like under something, you know? I think he has to be on the horizontal sides of something to really make that work. But I don't currently see him, so I think that this area is pretty clear. All I'm gonna do is try to get this toad that way, then I'm gonna get this toad this way, perfect. So basically resolving this level again. I'm so sorry for that, but I'm trying to look for that little pixel toad. Aha, I see you. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, here he is, so he can jump around now. That's a little concerning. That means we'll have to take a little bit extra time when we're looking around now. But hey, there we go, we found him. He's just jumping between the windows. So there's level five finally done. Now we can move on to level six, which is Shy Guy Heights. Oh, this place looks so cool. Looks like there's like a little Shy Guy shop or something. I hope it isn't, you know, the goal isn't to like take care of every Shy Guy. I thought that'd be awful. You go to Shy Guy Heights just to beat up Shy Guys, it'd be mean. Speaking of which, we got a Shy Guy walking around that little Shy Guy head statue. So let's just try to make our way around the hedge as well without him seeing us. Because if we pick up that turnip, we might be able to make some stuff work. That, oh no, I missed! Oh, I missed! Can I restart? There's no restart button? Oh, I know that I'm gonna need to do something with that. Maybe I'll just let him hit me and we'll get like a, a you know, a, a game over or whatever. Let's try that again, too bad. That's okay. <laughs> it's sort of weird that it does show like Toad's skeleton. Like I didn't think that, like, doesn't that confirm that it's not a hat? <laughs> I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, it could still be a skeleton wearing a hat. Who knows? Look at this little bird, how cute is that? Oh, I can make him fly away. Oh, I can even stun these guys. I forgot you could do that. So, but I can't take them out that way is the problem. So if I really wanna make this easier for myself, I could stun him, but I don't need to. I just need to be decent at the game. So that was a pretty good start. It looks like I can even go up this way, but I don't know if that's worth my while. Hi, bird. I like just being able to press him. Oh, you know what, I think I do need to do that. If I climb up this way, I can run over these little things. Oh, that is so cool, I love this game. And I'm gonna run this way real quick, real quick, real quick. He's gonna notice me, he's gonna chase me. Ah, get out of here, you jerk. And then we got this guy over this way. I'm gonna actually sneak up on him, and then, oh, oh gosh. Oh wait, this guy's gonna try to get me too, he's a blue shy guy. Hiya! <laughs> Toad can protect himself just fine. He learned some plenty good lessons from uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. Oh, look at this! Um, So I can do this with the Joy-Con or with me, it's a Pro Controller, but we can, oh, that is so cool! Oh, I love this so much! I like that really a ton. So I gotta be careful these little birds. They don't seem very nice. Uh. I can't get that, like I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get this turnip, but I can't use this to fight off the birds because we can't climb up ladders with items. So I don't know if there's any way to take these guys out, but oh gosh, right now, I'm just gonna get this way, pick up all the coins, every single one of them. And what is this? It's a mushroom, cool. Oh, I don't trust this, but at least I got some cool goodies. Now I can go all the way back. Oh, we can take them out. What do you know? We just gotta make it so that they slam down when there's no bridge, so now would be a good time. So let's try that again. I can take out these guys. Interesting. There we go. Distract him, distract him, distract him. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, why didn't that work? Um, He's gonna try to get me, but not really quite where I wanted him to. Come on, over here, over here. Uh, I don't think it's gonna work for him. He's tough. I don't know why, why it worked for the other guy, but not him. Oh well, <laughs> we'll worry about it later. For now, I'm gonna go back over this way. We are going to rotate this. Oh, wait, am I doing it right? Oh, I gotta hold ZR and then do it. So we can do that, or I could have just, I guess I could have rotated it this way. That way we could have reached all three points. Okay, cool. So we'll get back over there, and I'll just try to run as quickly as I can so this guy doesn't mess with me. Leave me alone, you jerk. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can really do about him. I can land on that guy's head, though. Pretty cool. And then I see you this way. Hi, get out of here. And then we got one last little thing with this. 
And I guess I might as well use it against one of these birds, because they're not so nice. Yeah, they both slam down at the same time when you do that. Okay, so I can grab this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh gosh, save me, save me! Oh no, I got hit. Oh, that stinks. What about this little bush? Can I do anything with that? I can't. Huh. Okay, so we've only gotten one diamond so far, which is a little concerning. And I'm Tiny Toad now, which is just also scary. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get you mad so I can throw that at you. Oh, what do we got here? It's a pickaxe. What am I using this for? I don't know. I, oh, this, this, duh. Oh my gosh, I'm silly. Oh, hey, how are you? I hope there wasn't anything else, was there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so I gotta make sure the next time we see a pickaxe, I back up before we pick it up. And you'll just give me a diamond. Thank you so much, dude. You're cool, there's another one in poster for that dude over there. I wanna make sure I throw these, because it gives me coins. I'm gonna have to be careful with this guy at first. Got him, got him. Okay, so, not so bad. Oh gosh, wait, there's coins. Give me these coins. There's just a little pocket of them over here. Hey, I got a one-up, that's good. That makes up for the uh, life I lost earlier. Oh, I gotta be careful of you. Hiya! Is there another uh, shy guy running around? Doesn't look like it, but I do get my mushroom, very cool. And here's diamond number three. This is such a cool looking game. Just like, look at this nice little building. I love the architecture, I love all the pretty colors. I know, I just like graphics all the time. But they're good graphics. Ready, hiya! <laughs> okay, well, you gotta be careful with Toad or he'll tear you up. So there is a course clear normally, but I think that's not it. Um, Slipped past, oh, look at this, we could have like a Shy Guy stealth mission. So let's try that out. Now, I slipped past and does that mean they don't notice me at all? Does that mean that I have to uh, just not take them out? I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I have to just take them or just slip by them all without being noticed whatsoever. That might be really tough. Oh, that's gonna be really challenging. Cause I can like freeze you like that and then run by real quick. Go, 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 go. Oh boy. This is like the ultimate stealth mission. <laughs> In Captain Toad Treasure Tracker of all games. So I just gotta be real careful. Cause this guy's gonna make his little round like that. And he's gonna turn. And then if I could just freeze you. There we go, perfect, perfect, perfect. Climb up like that. And now this guy, you might notice, he turns clockwise. Now I only have to get past the shy guys. These guys I don't think I have to worry about so much. So let's just run through like that. Gotta be careful though, because they're not very nice. Okay, so I made it. No, don't fall down. I gotta be careful. Gotta be real careful. Now if I take him out, I don't know if that counts. So right now I'm just gonna plop down behind him. Be really careful about this. Because if I run into him, that's probably not gonna be good either. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. It is so very intense, I don't like it. <laughs> so I need to, ooh, this one's gonna be tough. This is not gonna be easy. I think I can go up now. Gotta be careful. But right now, as soon as this guy turns, I can go up, but I gotta be careful. This guy too, oh, bad timing, bad timing. Oh, no, he spotted me, you little stinker. I'm just gonna try to complete the level. No, 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 there's no way. There's no way, even if I slip by them and not get like touched or hit or anything without taking them out, I'm pretty sure. That's so not fair, I was on the ladder. Ah, uh, it's okay. So I didn't get it, I'll have to try again. That one spot is gonna be so tough. Okay, so this part's super tough, but when you freeze one, the other keeps moving, so you can sort of keep them synced up. Okay, so this will also be tough, but if I just keep you frozen, somehow I got really lucky there, because there is one that does a round on that second story that we just sort of went right past, which is great. So now I should just be able to sneak in and snag myself a star. I don't think we alerted any shy guys there, so I really hope that was it. I don't see any shy guys that sort of attacked me. Yes, okay, we got it. So we gotta do the level one more time to get ourselves that little pixel toad. Which might be a challenge, it might not be. It might be right there in front of our faces. We'll have to go in and find out. So let's find Pixel Toad. I love these so much. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Luckily the worlds are nice and short, so I feel like it's not that bad of a deal to just go through them all in adventure. So now I'm not worried at all about uh, any kind of shy guy finding me. Because, you know, I don't think they can keep up with me. I think we move around way too quick. So uh, yeah, as we saw with the last level, Shy Guys can pop up where Toad can't even reach. Oh, get up the thing, dude. Oh boy, 
Now I'm actually in a bit of danger. I don't wanna get a game over for a very silly reason or anything. So I'm just trying to look for that little pixel toad. Oh boy. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Got it, okay. So now that I'm here, I have like a little safe spot that I just wanna poke around a little bit, try to see if I can't find that toad. Cause I have a feeling he's gonna be somewhere real sneaky, but real close. I mean, probably in there, but I don't wanna be so certain just yet. Huh, can I like open windows? No, I can't quite. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and land on you. For a second I thought he hit me somehow. It's gonna be like, what? That's not fair. But I don't have to worry about it because that's not what happened. So uh, this one right here should be the pickaxe so I can go crazy with this. I can bust these open, perfect. And unfortunately I do not see the, uh oh, there he is! Got him, he was standing on top of that little hedge. <laughs> you little sneaky toad. Okay, we got you. So there is the second level of this world completed. Now we can move on, oh boy, to world, or level seven, spin wheel library, looking awful spooky. But hey, we'll try to get through it. I'm guessing things spin around, which might not be so easy for the uh, pixel toad thing. But I can't, oh, I gotta do this, okay. So before I spin anything around, of course, I wanna go in here and just wanna see what I can find. Oh, 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 I went through a pipe. And now I'm over here, hello. How are you? And what's down this way? Oh, this is so cool. Now this reminds me of like Mario Galaxy or something, which is so cool. I really wanna play that game again soon. Maybe for you guys, we'll, we'll all play together. That sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I like this guy, he's always sleeping. They're just trying to find out where to go with us. It's interesting when you think that we have like a little adventure team helping us along the way. So that was actually the third and final diamond, which is interesting because it was the first one I found. Another diamond up that way. So we wanna go ahead and do, oh wait, 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 there it is, there it is. There's diamond number two. Got it. So the diamonds seem to be pretty easy so far. I, mean, I already know where the next one is. Just a matter of getting to it. So if I were to rotate this one more time. Oh, here we go, diamond number two. So there we go, I've gotten all three diamonds so far. Now I don't know how to get up to there. I think I need to turn it back this way. Looking like it. Okay, this is so cool. And that's the end of the level already. <laughs> wait, that was so easy. I mean, that's not a problem. Oh wait, golden mushroom, golden mushroom. Give me that golden mushroom. Thank you. This is such a cool song as well. I like the soundtrack in this game. So hopefully the golden mushroom was a little requirement. Oh no, I wanted to pick up those coins. Oh well, Captain Toad seems to be pretty happy. He's got all of his books, a lifetime of reading about the different places he could adventure to, and collect the gold mushroom. We finally got one of the challenges done on the first try. Yeah, so we can just go right back in and try to find Pixel Toad, which honestly, with this level being so easy, shouldn't it be so bad? Uh, whoa, what was that? Hey. What is that? Coins galore. We'll check that out after we're done all of this chapter's levels, I think. Uh, for now, let's go back into world seven, or level seven, I don't wanna call it world seven. Um, it feels like a whole new world of adventuring, maybe that's why. So let's go ahead and try to figure this out. I don't think it'll be that bad, but may, hey, maybe you'll be hiding between the books. You know, you never know with little Pixel Toad. I don't see him yet, but remember, we have a number, oh, I already hear him now. I hear him with all the noises he makes. It's weird how the camera's focusing down this way. I don't see him, but I definitely hear him. Oh, hey! I guess the, the, the golden mushroom was down here as well. Cause I guess this is just the bottom of it, isn't it? Oh, that's interesting. So you just give me a mushroom now, which is all helpful and dandy and everything, but doesn't really help me too much with what I'm trying to do. The camera angle is really confusing. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see him nowhere. Okay, well we tried. I don't think he's up here or down there. I hear him, just trying to see him, you know? That's the challenge. So we're just gonna rotate it each time. So we're gonna do uh, one rotation now. Just like that. And with each rotation, we'll try to poke around a little bit more. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find, oh, I see him, I see him, he's right there, gotcha! <laughs> you are so sneaky every time. I like it. He's got spunk. So there's that one done. World seven, or level, oh my gosh. Level seven was actually really 
pleasantly easy. Now we have level eight, minecart tunnel throwdown. Oh boy, what is this? We get to ride a minecart? Minecart tunnel throwdown. And it looked like in the little image we were on a minecart. Look at how cool this is. Oh, I really like this already. But there's a diamond that way. Oh, this is full of turnips. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Throw a turnip, hold on, turn around then. Turn around, throw a turnip that way. Oh wait, 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 Ugh. This is not easy to do. Like this is a lot harder than it looks. Uh, change view, oh, okay. Throw them, throw them that way. This is so weird. I'm definitely gonna have to have a second try at this one. We have <laughs> a very interesting level going on. Why is this not gyro controls? I'm trying to like just use the joystick. It's super tough to do. Got it, okay. Try to get the, rid of these little guys, but I missed the diamond. I, I hope I can get back to that. Maybe I can just run on the tracks later on. Come on, get that diamond. Get the diamond. I missed it. No, I missed it. I missed both of the diamonds. This is embarrassing. Oh, here's another one. It's so tough to hit him. Oh, you know what? Probably because I'm trying to press the A button to shoot the turnips when I don't have to. I can press the ZR button. That's a lot better. So I'm just like moving my hooves in all kinds of ways that you wouldn't expect to try to hit those two combinations of buttons. Okay, we're going, we're going, we're going. Oh gosh, I'm so upset that we missed two of the diamonds. But hey, we get to try again, I guess. Wow, that did not turn out very well. But super duper fun, I love it. Wait, 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 oh, we could have gotten even more coins. So I have to try that again anyways, but wow, that was cool. I am so charmed by that. So as you can see, we at least got the star, but defeat all the para bitty buds. Oh, that's cool. So as you can see now, oh, there's more levels. Interesting, so the King Puff, ooh, the King of Pirate Puff Peak, so that's like our boss fight. How many, we need like more diamonds than what we currently have to get this one, we need, I know we just need 12, though we have plenty. But I'm not done, because we're gonna try to go back into here, not only get all the diamonds, but try our best to uh, uh, def defeat all the para bitty buds wherever or however they may be. So first off, land here and try to turn around real quick, like immediately. Uh, I got it, yeah, okay, there's diamond number one. Go ahead and get rid of you. I'm gonna try to look for every pair of bitty butt I can, because apparently that's their names. Don't wear them out. Try to hit that, that was good, that was a good shot. So you can get a lot of coins in this one. This might be a nice little area to earn up some one-ups. Got it. Got it, so let's try to get you, nice. If you, As long as they're in the little circle when you press the shoot button, it seems to work out pretty decently. So let's go ahead and make sure we get this diamond. Just like that, perfect. Okay, so there's nothing over that way. But there is all of these guys. This is where it's gonna be tough to get these pair of bitty buds. Uh, got them, got them. So we already got that diamond, we need to, uh, no we got all three of them then. Perfect, I'm so happy, so very happy. Is that all the pair of bitty buds? I'm pretty sure it is. It's looking like it. Okay, so hopefully that's the challenge done. That was a tough challenge for sure, whoa boy. There's none like hiding back there or nothing. We got it. Okay, that was so much fun. Oh, I love it. It's gonna be tough to find Pixel Toad and all that mess though, for sure. So go ahead and get ourselves a one up, that's perfect. And there we go, there it is done again. <laughs> I really hope that was all of them because I didn't see any other ones. So we'll have to find out together, but Got it. Yeah, okay, so, very awesome. Let's head back in and try to find this little pixel toad. This part might take me a little while, but I'm willing to try as long as you are. <laughs> okay, ready for adventure, that's me. So we probably don't wanna do the first person camera view, instead I wanna do the other camera. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> they didn't wanna do the whole minecart thing, so they just put him right there. That is funny. Just like, he didn't even try very hard for that one. Okay, well we have level nine, spin wheel bullet bill base. Wow. So it's gonna be more spinning. Lots of bullet bills. We haven't run into bullet bills yet in our adventure that, you know, Toad is so very ready for. The lava here is intense. Now let me zoom in a little bit. So we could go ahead and start spinning stuff here. And I guess I have to, because I can't reach anything from right now, right where I am. So if I spin this, as you can see, oh, this is very interesting. I can spin this one like that, but if I spin, a, spun it a little bit more, I can reach this and get our first diamond. Now let's spin it back this way so I can get up on that staircase. Uh, let's zoom back in. There we go, that's good. 
And I gotta be careful because of these bullet bills. I don't know if there's any way for me to actually, oh gosh, yeah, how do you do this? Maybe I just gotta be quick with it. Ready, run, 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 and then, oh, see ya, ha <laughs> Okay, so if we point this this way, maybe we could uh, have them get rid of some of those question blocks or something. Oh no, they shoot over there. Okay, this perspective was weird. So they're shooting across to these things, which is what we want. Um, That didn't really do too much. You know what it really did for me though, is that I can now go this way. Oh, I see exactly what we can do. We can get you guys to destroy that, then you can be just shooting this way for a little bit, so I can go and grab that diamond, and then there's another diamond right down there. I can't get it from here, I don't think, so I'm not gonna risk it, because then we'd have to do everything over again. No, 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 just wanna run this way. Keep moving, keep moving. Because now if I switch the uh, staircase around, as you can see, I can get up here. Now there's not anything inside of that little area, that little staircase just yet. Can I hit these blocks? Maybe you guys can? Weird, I don't know. Oh, they can, oh, give me that mushroom. Give me that mushroom, give me that mushroom. So let's see if I can't get you guys to get over here. Uh, ah, that's scary. Here, zoom in again. That's a little bit easier. And then, he's gonna be like, watch, slam! And then try that again over this way. Come on, buddy, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, you're awesome. Okay, so I gotta be careful with this bullet bill launcher. Bullet bill blaster, as they may call it. So there's something I can do here. Oh, interesting. So if I angle this up just right, I should be able to bust that open. Very cool. So what do I do with this little staircase? I'll have to find out in a second, because right now, I want to get across to here and get the third diamond, just so I don't have to worry about it. I know this platform's gonna move away from me. We'll just have to wait for it. This is so intense, like crazy puzzle solving going on right now. Now the problem is, how do I get back up there, you know? I mean, I could do it like this. Oh gosh, watch out! <laughs> that was scary. Uh, I guess, yeah, this is what I want. Okay, I didn't realize there was a little bit of a, a ledge there that you have to climb up. Let's wait for him. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You got it, Toad. Now the thing I'm worried about is I didn't see, I haven't seen any, ooh. Okay, whoa, lots of coins. So I think I wanna do it like this, of course. And I don't know how many coins I'm supposed to get in this level, so I'm trying to make sure I get as many as I can. I don't see any other kind of secret. So hopefully we got the one we needed to get done, whatever that might be. All right, yeah, course clear. So was that everything I needed to do? Collect the golden mushroom? I didn't see no golden mushroom anywhere. Where could that be? Oh boy. Where in the world is the golden mushroom? Let me poke around immediately, just like right now, and see what we can find. Golden mushroom, where art thou? I must find you and collect thee. So I can say I've collected it. And I can get a pretty little check mark. I don't see it any, oh no! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Toad, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my gosh, it was right here the whole time. I knew there was something about that. I just needed a little bit of extra looking around. I gotta make sure I'm a little bit more diligent with that stuff. It's never easy, but I tried my best. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all of these coins and try not to get hit by that bullet bill, and boom, we got it. So now we just gotta go through this level one more time to get that pixel toad, and we're good. Oh my gosh, that was, I just, I feel like I've been duped. <laughs> so very, very cool, we got that done, which means we just have to do the pixel toad. Okie doke, pixel toad, you hop on in there and see what you can do. But I actually found out, I didn't really show it, but I found out that I can actually get little question blocks by pointing at them and pressing the trigger. So I don't, I didn't have to wait for the birds to do that. That was just me being silly, I suppose. So we have to look around very thoroughly if we wanna find this pixel toad, because this area has a lot of little corners, and you might notice that the lava seems to go up and down, maybe? Maybe not so much, so maybe that's not too big of an issue. But I'm gonna try to, you know, look at everything I can. Make sure I look at each staircase as they're rotating around. Try to get a good look at everything. Okay, so I should be good with this one. Just gotta get up here now. Um, Pixel Toad, where are you? Oh gosh, watch out. <laughs> Bullet bills were heading my way. Ah, okay, this is too many. Too many enemies. Got it, go. And then, oh, turn it around. Yeah, let's just turn it that way. Because I don't really need to get to the area. As long as I can find where the toad is, I can just point and shoot, right? I have a feeling it's probably gonna be somewhere nearby the uh, the golden mushroom. It feels like that would probably be a nice fit for it. 
I haven't heard him making his little pixel toad noises, so a little bit nervous about that. But I'm sure we can make it work. Okay, so uh, one thing I'm keeping an eye out for is I've never seen the pixel toad on a ceiling or floor before. He's only been on a wall. Oh, oh, he's right there. He hopped out of the lava. I saw that. Where'd you go? Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Got him. That is so tricky. <laughs> I'm getting more and more nervous about where he could be. I was looking on the walls and he just happened to go through my peripheral vision. Jeez. Okay, so we have one more level left to do, I think. It's the King of Pyropuff Peak before we move all the way back to uh, the uh, the coins galore. We'll do that to finish today's episode off. I think that'll be fun. Were we missing one? No, we weren't. Okay, good. <laughs> one of the stamps. So let's just go ahead and do level 10, the King of Pyropuff Peak, and hope that everything turns out okay. Oh my. This guy does not look nice. <laughs> the King of Pyropuff Peak. The thing I'm nervous about is that he's a big mean dragon. What do you know? <laughs> I think he was also a boss fight in Super Mario 3D World, so he's back and probably angrier than ever. Oh boy. Oh, uh, you know what? I think he's in Paper Mario Color Splash as well. We've played that one. He has golden teeth. Or maybe they're just shining off the lava. Oh gosh, run! Okay, keep going, Toad. Keep going. Oh, look at this. So first off, this platform's, or this little wall's moving, but then we have to go in danger's way to get this one. Go, 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 go. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. You got it, Toad, move those little legs. Okay, got it. Keep moving up, keep moving up. I'm gonna wait right here. Actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna keep moving. Got it. Oh gosh, oh, I'm scared. So there are diamonds to get, and this is one of them right here. So, oh, this one's just tricky too, where you gotta go up and then down to get these coins, and then boom, got the diamond. Can I just like tap at him? Like, get away, you monster! Doesn't even seem to phase him. Oh boy. This is our first boss fight of the game, and it's a really cool one. I love, I love this game so much so far. It's a blast. Oh, look at this, look at this, okay. Come on, keep on, keep on. It's a mushroom. He's gotta stay protected. Ooh. Okay, gotta run quick. I really like that you can hold the B button to run a little bit, even though it's not much, it's helpful. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, it's a diamond, run! <laughs> okay, so we've gotten all three diamonds. I just have to find a way to defeat this guy. I don't think we're gonna defeat him. I think more we're just gonna run away. Oh, run for your life, little toad. Oh boy. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We made it. We got some coins right here. Oh gosh, he's not liking that very much. Uh, so there is the star though, we have found it. We just gotta get up there. And there's lava falling from the sky as well. This is not a good combo. Whoa, whoa, everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart, pull up these coins. Okay, gotta be quick about this because if not, things are gonna fall, I think. Oh boy, oh boy, come on, get up, get up, get up. Oh, I think if you hold B, you even climb up ladders a little quicker. Oh, we got it, no wait, no, the star, grab it, grab it, no. <laughs> come on, Toad, oh. Ooh, that's a pain in the noggin. <laughs> he should've worn a helmet. I mean, he survives in lava, so I think he's gonna be okay. Ooh. Yeah, he probably needs a nap. Oh. Oh, well, we got you. <laughs> okay, um. I can walk around on your little noggin. I like this. But hey, let's go ahead and get the star. I was trying to look around and see if there's anything else we can do. Doesn't look like it, so we got our course clear. But, did we get our challenge done? Collected 45 coins, we got 57! So boom, got it done, but is there a pixel toad? We're about to find out. Uh, yes there is. So the next level is, of course, starting the next chapter, so we're not gonna do that right now. But also, I don't know if I've ever checked that out. Okay, so you see how like, okay, that's weird. If I went here, I guess there's a cutscene going on here. So I don't know what that's about, the hunt for the, the, for the great, bird's lair. I'm not gonna see that cutscene yet, we'll see you in the next episode. But I gotta go back into this level and try to find that little pixel toad. That's gonna be tough, cause he could be anywhere. I'm gonna have to dodge giant like lava fumes of a dragon. That does not sound like a good combo. <laughs> but we're gonna try, see what ends up happening. Okay, so maybe, maybe he'll be easy this time. I have a feeling he's gonna be on one of these panels facing the dude. But I also have to pay attention to the lava. What is, okay, there he is. I was gonna say, what is the dragon gonna pop up? Oh, we skipped the cutscene a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna just keep this, you know, slow as if I was fighting him for the first time. I bet the camera's different, but I, I think that might just be me as well. 
Come on, go, 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 go. I have a feeling he's gonna be on one of these panels like up th this way. You see like how sometimes they face him. But the camera feels definitely different this time. I thought they'd zoom in out a little bit more so you can find the little pixel toad. He could be absolutely anywhere at this rate. I don't see him this way. I hear him though. There he is! Got him! Okay, so that wasn't too bad. He could have been in worse spaces for sure, so I'm not gonna complain. So that is every level completed in this chapter, which is super duper exciting, including our first ever boss fight. Like I said, next episode we'll tackle the hunt for the great bird's lair. But now, we're gonna move all the way back to coins galore. I don't know what this is, except for probably just being a little mini game, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Oh, hey. How are you? You just give me a little thing, okay, a little mushroom. This guy is sleeping like usual. Can I wake him up? No, nothing wakes him up. So what is going on? Looks like we have two little mini games we can do. First off, there's this one. Has a little pickaxe. Oh boy, so we gotta go get that pickaxe quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. Whoa, I don't know how many coins we're supposed to get. Whoa, golden mushrooms. Gotta get them. Boom, that could have been a little bit better to be honest with you. Okay, so I didn't do as well as I was hoping. 212 though, not bad. I think we could get all of them if we tried hard enough. I'd have to go back in. Wait, what? what? Oh, is that the only chance I get? Oh, that stinks. Better luck next time, I guess. I, I don't know though, that's weird. I thought I was gonna have more than one chance. We'll have to try the other one next time. But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Toad so now you've watched at the end of it. You're a Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.